This year marks the 50th anniversary of KERO, so throughout the year we're going to reacquaint you with some of the many people you've come to know over the years. And tonight we begin by talking with a KERO legend, Don Rodewald. He hasn't been on the air for nearly 30 years, but there's something about that smile and the hair that many Kern County residents will never forget. I was on the air two hours a day, Monday through Friday, for 17 years. So I was in people's homes as their friend for a long time. And as a KERO promotion brochure once stated, the afternoon show was an informal, relaxed two hours hosted by one of the foremost personalities in the southern San Joaquin Valley. Handsome, popular Don Rodewald. Well, that's what I wrote. That's what they printed. <laughs> <laughs> Don hasn't been in our living room since 1973, a fact that gets Don some interesting comments these days. <laughs> what is the reaction you get when you're walking down oh, the street Oh, I get now? such funny reactions. When people see me, they say something like, uh, I thought you were dead. Although many of Kern County's television pioneers are no longer with us, Don will remind you that he is far from just a memory. Like the cowboy told me once, he said, I'm still kicking, I just ain't stirring up much dust anymore. Two years after KERO signed on the air in 1953, Don made the switch from radio and started a truly new and fascinating career. You can't believe how exciting it was to be involved in this brand new medium and nobody knew what to do. We were experimenting all the time. The afternoon show, which was also known as Matinee, had something for everyone who loved movies, contests, and interviews. But its largest audience was women. The man did stop me one time and say, I got to tell you, you spend more time with my wife than I do. And I said, she watches the afternoon show, does he? He said, oh, yeah. Ladies did love the show, and Don kept their interest with many fun segments, such as a popular one called Come As You Are. It was a very popular segment. I would tell people that if you can come down to the station, then send me a postcard with your name and phone number on it. And every day I would draw a card out and call that person and say, I want you to come as you are right now to the afternoon show. Then I would interview them and give them prizes. And it was hysterical what some of them would bring down. Some would come down carrying an iron. One woman came in carrying a chicken. I caught a woman in the shower one I was going to say. And she was fortunately a good sport and uh, her cute little thing. And she came down in a big bath towel. <laughs> don't you miss stuff like this on TV oh, today? Yes. You just it, don't get this. It was a gas. And as if live television wasn't challenging enough, Don recalls one incident when some professional models caused a slight distraction for the crew. And they were changing their clothes right off camera, and you should have seen the chaos of people trying to keep their minds on what they were talking about, <laughs> except for and the... And this is when you're on camera? Yes. Doing your... Well, how are you keeping your eyes on what you were supposed to be doing? Discipline. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of fun doesn't last. And after Kate Euro, Don spent 18 years teaching at Bakersfield College. I started working there uh, in 69. So mm, from 69 mm -hmm. to 73, I was doing both. And in 1973, I did my last afternoon show. These days, Don keeps busy with a passion started many years ago when he was lucky enough to meet one of the true masters. Willie Moscone, when I played a game with him when the March of Dimes came to Bakersfield in the 60s, they wanted somebody to make a fool of themselves playing a game with him. And since I was high profile... Who they, better to make fun Yeah, of? they asked me to do it. And I did it just so I could be that close to him and watch him. And he was spectacular. Don Rodewald has left an equally strong impression on our viewers from that timeless hairstyle... That has not changed since 1950 to his trademark sign-off. I said, hope you had a good time and till tomorrow at three when it's just you and me. Don Rodewald will remain a cornerstone of KERO.